In developing the science of success, I had one simple objective. Identify the top 10 things that people and companies did that led to their success. I decided there were three. And I touch on them in this preview, but it's what comes next that may surprise you. Hi, I'm Chris Hopkins, and this is the science of success. Belief, action, and determination are the three traits necessary for success. So in order to succeed, you have to decide to be bad. Number one is belief. Look, before you will ever succeed at anything, you must first believe that it is possible. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe that you can accomplish your goal before you will ever take that first step. Number two is action. Without action, a goal is just a goal, a plan is just a plan, and a dream is just a dream. Taking action begins the momentum and it builds confidence, self-esteem, and strength. Number three is determination. You've got to be determined. You need to decide in advance that nothing will stand in your way. No excuses. So to succeed, you have to be bad. Since this is the science of success, it was necessary to investigate human physiology as well. Why do some people succeed and others quit? Why are some people so happy and confident and others the complete opposite? And what I discovered is there is an actual science to success. A scientific way to stay more positive, focused, happy, and confident. And no, I'm not going to be selling you any drugs or chemicals. Or am I? You see, our bodies produce four feel-good chemicals. Dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphins. Of these, endorphins not only have the best qualities to enhance your success, it can change your life in a very positive way. So what exactly are endorphins? Okay, just a little science here. The word endorphin is actually short for endogenous morphine, or morphine within. Endorphins are a type of neuropeptide produced in your body to boost your tolerance to pain, calms you during stress, and produces feelings of euphoria, joy, and overall well-being. According to a study by Johns Hopkins University, when endorphins flood your body, you feel more relaxed, more able to take on challenges, more productive, creative, and optimistic. You're better able to make good decisions, relate well with others, and it boosts your self-esteem. In addition, they are an antidote to the stress you deal with every day, and that's why they can benefit you in your business and in your life. There are four different kinds of endorphins. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Sigma. Beta being the most powerful and lasting the longest, about 48 hours. So how do you keep these positive mood enhancing endorphins around? Well, it's different for everyone. In my seminars and workshops, we define programs for individuals after answering a short list of questions. But you can begin by engaging in the following activities, or should I say, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, baby. The best way to produce the long lasting and powerful beta endorphins is through exercise. You have probably heard of and may have even experienced runner's high. This is the name for the feeling of euphoria that is caused by the endorphins that are being released during running and other consistent strenuous exercise. Laughter produces endorphins. In fact, just smiling for no particular reason makes you happier and more confident. This is a scientific fact. That's because smiling in and of itself produces endorphins. Then there's the Mozart effect. Scientists confirm that listening to certain types of music create endorphins that enhance creativity, mental productivity, and can also promote physical healing, especially if you participate by singing along or just tapping along with the rhythm. Prayer and meditation. Research studies show that the regular practice of meditation and prayer helps people deal more effectively with stress, increase clarity of mind, and experience more peace. Chocolate. Yes, chocolate produces mood-enhancing endorphins, but it's not just chocolate. Any food you truly enjoy has the same effect. And then there's sex. I know you were waiting for this one. By the way, since sex produces a rush of endorphins and endorphins reduce pain, if your partner says they have a headache, just say, hey honey, it's your lucky day. I have the scientifically proven cure. And last but not least, they don't call it happy hour for nothing. When you enjoy an alcoholic beverage, 
your brain releases endorphins in areas of your brain that are responsible for pleasure and reward. But don't go overboard. While a bit of alcohol can stimulate endorphin production, drinking too much or taking actual opiates or other synthetic drugs provides artificial pleasure that makes your brain think it's okay to stop producing endorphins. You will end up crashing and you'll be hungover. But understanding that music, participating in worship and fellowship produces endorphins, just go to church. Heck, if you jog home from church, have a candy bar, then maybe, you know, cure your partner's headache, you'll be all fired up and focused and ready for that Monday morning commute in no time. Heck, you might even show up to work early. Hi, this is Chris. I created the science of success by studying and analyzing all of the amazing information this world has to offer. Utilizing the most modern techniques, information, and technology available, I broke success down to a science. To be successful, you have to believe in yourself and what you're selling. You must take the necessary action and you must be determined. But it turns out there was so much more and all of it can be accomplished by anyone who truly wants to succeed. I am absolutely certain that there is no other program out there that can have a more positive impact on you and your company. Hi, I'm Emily with Chris Hopkins Seminars. Thank you for watching this preview of the Science of Success. Chris is available for speaking engagements, analytical marketing programs, sales workshops, and seminars throughout the U.S. and Europe. For more information, contact Chris at